Hey, welcome back to Mobility Project. Here's the project for today. We're going to work on improving your capacity to be in a strong pressing position or to keep that shoulder into an excellent rotated position so that I can jerk. And so many of the ideas that we're trying to do is create an extra rotation in flexion that sets that shoulder up. What's that mean? It means I'm rotating my arm out, my humerus, my arm bone gets turned out. The common mistake is that we see athletes turning past the arm, trying to get it to actually rotate. Mistake. I create a stable framework. All of that structure turns out. In this position, I can then manage a much more effectively an awkward load because the capsule is wound up and it can support a big load in this externally rotated strong position. This is how I can pull and when I do a muscle up and then end up in a good position at 220 pounds and not destroy my shoulders. When we see athletes not able to affect those good external rotated positions, shoulders forward, and now I'm looking for tension stability on the front of the shoulder joint. That is a recipe for disaster. So here's what we've got today. Test your overhead position. Test this externally rotated position. We're looking at can I improve this external rotation and flexion. So first piece first. Where's my kettlebell? There it is. So here's what we're going to do. Part of the construction. <coughs> We're going to go two minutes, and this would be a great piece to do before I bench press. I set my shoulders down, and once I walk my shoulders back and down, they should be on the ground, rock solid. I cannot get my hand underneath my shoulder blade. A lot of times athletes are in a kind of a shoulder protracted position, okay, and then the, the head is, on the, is off the ground, and what ends up happening is that I have to support that with the soft tissue of the shoulder. What I'm trying to do when I bench or press on the, or floor press is I get my shoulders down, that's an idealized position where the back of the capsule can actually rotate effectively. To do some other pressing and managing, this is why gymnasts have to actually rotate to, to kind of post or block in that position. And it's that extra rotation that winds up the shoulder capsule and then gives me stability as I have excursion off of what we call that structural shelf. So here's the first piece today. I want you to take that kettlebell. Ah, I like the kettlebell because it's awkward and it has a nice extra rotation force on it. I block my own hand, and then I scoot up on my shoulder, and I'm just going <coughs> to hang out here for two minutes. I'm just going to let the shoulder drop to the back of the socket. It's going to take two minutes as a minimum therapeutic dose. I can even externally rotate. Chances are, if you do this before you press or floor press, you're going to PR like mad. Work on that external rotation, cueing that rotation as the shoulder hits the back of the socket. Can't get your hands up. Two minutes here. This is a big deal. If you think about some of the cueing from guys like Dave Tate, they say, hey, you're a beginner, take that bar off the rack and count one, 1,000, one, 1,000, two. What's going on as I count? The weight is setting my shoulders into the good position where then I can then press effectively. So that's homework number one. Homework number two. And if you can definitely test and see what that looks like to mobilize flexion back of the socket. Then we're going to go here. I'm in another version of extra rotation. I don't have as much good control. What's going to happen is, can you see it in this direction? I'll come this way. What's going to happen is that I'm going to open up all of this tissue as a limiter, add an external rotation force, and be able to camp out in those, in those pieces. This looks like an analog for what we're doing here, but by bending the arm, we change that and capture a little bit more of the high arm in this position. Contract, relax. I can even grab my elbow and pull that in tight and uh, just hang out here. So let's go ahead and get two minutes. Each side contract, relax. Five seconds on, ten seconds off in this position. Last piece in the medley of external rotation and flexion is to go ahead and take your jump stretch band, triple it up, hook it up through your arms. What do you think, Bear? Daddy, doing a good job? Yeah? Then I grab the PVC pipe, shoulders go back, load up, externally rotate, and camp out in this position. To apply a tensioner, I can walk over to any shelf or parallel bars and just think about bringing those arms up into flexion. What I'm not doing is releasing. I've got to keep active shoulders back, hang down, contract, relax, release, contract, relax, release. Big stretch in those extra rotators, posterior capsule. That is gnarly, gnarly business. All three of those would prep you for any pulling dynamically in this position, extra rotating, pressing, controlling. Front rack, how do I manage better extra rotated flexion position? We'll see you guys tomorrow.